Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Good morning and praise the Lord viewers. My name is uh, Reverend Alphas Buire. It's my joy again to share with you the devotion this week and particularly this morning, our very first day of this week. And I want to share with you from the book of Exodus chapter 14. Allow me to read verse 18. The Bible says, Then the Lord said to Moses, Why are you crying to me? Tell the Israelites to move on. I want to actually share with you uh, a devotion of entitled move on move on take a step and move ahead move forward move to the next level this year we are talking about radiating god's glory god is calling us to take a step and shine this is a verb it's a doing you want to move on to move from where you are so here the israelites are caught up in in between a, a hard place and a rock, as English people would put it. And they were thinking like they want to give up. They were wondering whether there is a way forward for them. But the Bible says, and God says, tell the Israelites to move on. God is aware of your hostile environment. God is aware of the difficult circumstances you are in. Maybe it's financial, or you are caught up in a place where it, you can't do anything. Maybe you just feel like you might to give up. God is asking you to move on this morning. God is asking you to take a step of faith and be able to take a trajectory of a life-changing encounter with Him. And that will call you to wake up. It will ask you to arise and shine. Those are action words that God is calling us into this morning. You are there in, the, in that bed, maybe you are listening under that place, and you are wondering whether you qualify for that job. I want to tell you, God is asking you to arise and move on, and arise and make a step. That you can only just pray, but you seek His face for a life transformation moment and it causes you to take a step. We know the Israelites were taking a long time around the mountain. You know, there's that point you are making in the office about where you need to take your organization, where you need to be able to lead um, uh, a particular group of people to make profit or be able to do something. God is asking you to move on. God is asking you to take a step forward so that you don't just move around that mountain, not just becoming nice and being moving able to, to do all that has been done for over the years without making any progress. Someone has said that it's only um, fools who do the same thing every day expecting different results. God is asking you, to move on. God is asking you to seek a time of prayer. God is asking you to intercede. Some of you are thinking, I am tired of being a Christian without fruits. God is asking you grow in your faith. God is asking you to start learning to do things better. You've been praying five minutes. You can start praying ten minutes. Don't just pray and stop there. And the way Moses was asking, and then he was ending there. God is asking you to make a step. If indeed you indeed you want to, to begin a business, God is asking you to move on. Go and look for shops who are stalled. You will be on to begin a company. Don't just dream and stop there. God is asking you to move on. Go and seek power partners, like-minded people. Go and find out the cost that we involve to begin that business in the name of Jesus. God is asking you to move on. James, the book of James, wrote by Paul, he says that prayer without action is dead. We, God is asking, if you want to move on, you know, just end that prayer. I know some of us pray. It's good to pray. This morning we'll be praying together. But I'm telling you, until and unless you take a step, beyond that prayer that i pray and i apply for a job i pray and if you want to get more aid, you'll be able to be able to move where people are make proposal if you are a man then my friend my brother if you cannot do that you cannot make a step god is asking you to move on god is asking you to make a step my sharing about moving on is that you make a step 
of faith and be encouraged to go to the new level, to go to the new step of doing things, to be able to try something on an applied ground. Or maybe you've been just moving in the same direction, doing same thing, same place. God is asking you that you may move on. And I encourage you. You are sleeping. You are in that vehicle. You are having a point of a proposal that you would want to make to a company. It's time to move on. It's a time to make a step and move to another direction. Another Bible verse of the same passage says, and God asks them to move forward. To move forward. Don't be stuck. Get unstuck. One of our pastors shared that message somewhere. You need to be able to move on from the mud and make a direction somewhere. I want to pray with somebody this morning. And I trust God will bless you to move to the next step of life, to the next step of relationship, to the next step of doing things. That you will not be stuck by the words you have heard, as much as hard as they may be, because the Israelites were at a hard place. God is asking you to move on. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We honor you this morning. Thank you for every viewer. Thank you for every person that is listening to us on this page, on every of our platform. In the name of Jesus, irrespective of what they are going through, it's time to move on. It's time to make a step forward. It's time to be able to take a trajectory towards somewhere, oh God. And your voice speaking to us this morning, that it's time we move on. May we not be stuck in our old mindset. May we not be stuck in our old way of thinking and doing things. For you are our God. We thank you this morning and we bless your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldoran TV. Our Facebook page is Sidim Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidim Eldoran. And our website is eldoran.sidim.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.